What's up and welcome to Ingenuity and a very special episode of Project Becky Yard 1985 Subaru powered mid-engine CRX. Well, the season is officially upon us, folks. It's that magical time of year when project cars nestle into their garages and the sun is never up and, well, if you're anything like me, you need coffee just to live. <laughs> but I digress. So now that all the major structural components are fabricated and just about everything has a home, it's time to get the engine sorted and we're going to start with the wiring. Alrighty, so now that we got the main harness roughed on, now it's just a matter of going through and making sure that we have all the correct input and output connections that we need for each of the circuits required for the main engine harness, like the injectors and the ignition and stuff like that. I actually have a whole list. I don't know if you can see it there of the uh, three different harnesses that I'm going to be making. One's going to be just like the hot, you know, the power wire basically coming from the battery. Uh, to the back and then there's going to be a sub harness with like the fuel pumps and the starter on it like the big actuations and then there's the main engine harness which is what we're working on right now um, which is going to be you know fuel injectors and uh, your cam sensor your ignition uh, yeah all the sensors and all the inputs you know you know what I mean anyway so um, once we verify that I have all the circuits accounted for then it's just a matter of going through and verifying the wire length um, like like here like the the cam crank one that should be long enough uh to reach but like this one's this one's too short so we'll go through all that and make sure that everything's long enough to reach the soon to be fabricated rear bulkhead and make sure everything's routed nicely take some pictures so i can replicate it <laughs> that's really important then pull it all back apart get this thing cleaned up because it is covered in just crap <laughs> from being in there and more importantly get it freshened up mechanically like new timing belt water pump that kind of thing because um, it does need a lot of maintenance just to get caught up on i like any used engine that you buy so then after all that's done then we can finalize the harness and move on to fuel routing and uh power distribution easy right <laughs> let's go Thank you. 
Wow, look how clean this thing is. The integrity of this thing has been a big question, but oh man, this thing was well taken care of. This is, this is really good news. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. actually look pretty healthy too. Um, I mean obviously this thing was sitting a while and <clears throat> it's got a little schmutz around the outside but the in inside uh, might have been running a little rich um, or burning a little bit of oil but you know there's it's not like there's not like huge uh, crusty deposits on there or anything like that to be shockingly alarmed about so.
Oh, what the fuck?